location um, at the shopping centre between him and the alleged offender, the circumstances of which are not entirely clear to us at this time. But we do know both the victim and the suspect are known to each other and we've been able to obtain some very good quality CCTV footage um, of some of the events at the shopping centre last night, including the incident that resulted in Alexander's death. The scene was secured last night and forensic response section attended and processed the scene and seized a number of exhibits. And since that time, there's been a number of searches conducted and premises visited, um, well over 10 premises throughout the day. And we're actively searching for the offender now. I can tell you that a warrant of apprehension has been obtained for murder for Sean Faulkner and police are actively looking for him at the moment. I would ask if you have images of Sean at this time that you don't release them because it could compromise some of the identification processes that are yet to take place. Notwithstanding there is some CCTV and that's the reason why we're not releasing his image. But we're happy for you to release his name. Um, as I say, we've um, conducted a number of searches through the day um, and we are continuing to actively search for Sean at the moment. I'm certain that Sean would be watching this now and I appeal to you, Sean, to make contact with the police by ringing 131444. You need to contact us. You need to make an arrangement to come in so that we can speak to you and that this matter can be cleared up. We don't want anybody else to get hurt and it's obviously something that's not going away. So again, Sean, I encourage you to ring 131444 and ask to speak to an investigator handling this case and you'll be transferred to an investigator who can arrange for you to safely surrender to police so that we can deal with this matter. Thank you. We know the age of Mr Faulkner. Uh, yeah, he's 25. Mm -hmm. Just confirming that this stabbing wasn't related to the other stabbing in Elizabeth North? No, it's unrelated. Can you, sorry, can you, can you describe to us what actually happened at the scene? There was uh, witness accounts that he fled on train. Is that correct? Um, I don't have all of the facts because I'm actually doing the release for you while Elizabeth threw out. And, um, but I do know that there was an altercation earlier in the night. And I do know that um, immediately following the incident, he walked away with a woman and a small child. And that small child and the woman haven't yet been found? We've had contact with the woman throughout the day, but as yet she hasn't presented herself for interview as arranged earlier with her. Would you advise for anyone who knows the accused whereabouts and, I guess, or seizing? I would encourage any of Sean's friends, people that care about Sean, make contact with him and arrange for Sean to come in and speak to the police. Um, he can have friends come in with him, um, but it's important he comes in. It's not going to go away. Um, there is um, security vision of the incident and events in the shopping centre car park. So it's not worth running away. It's not worth doing anything that might result in anyone else getting hurt. So we'd encourage Sean to uh, come forward and for his friends to encourage him to come forward and assist him in that process if they're inclined. Do we know what the relationship is between the accused and the victim? Um, it's not clear to me as I stand before you now, but we do know that they do know each other. And what was his relationship with the woman with the pram? I understand that they're in, in a relationship. Yeah. We saw some police activity on Midway, Midway Road today. Um, is that in relation to this investigation? Yeah, the police searched, um, att have attended well over 10 premises, and some premises have been searched um, using Star Group to help uh, locate him. Are you surprised you haven't found him yet, given there were so many witnesses and, and people at the time the scene? No, um, Sean um, knows that we're looking for him. Um, Sean and others have obviously been actively helping him to elude police. But there is no doubt that we will eventually find Sean. And the best way for us to actually find Sean is with Sean contacting the police and coming forward. So his surrender can be done in a controlled and safe manner. So you're confident you'll find him? I have no doubt at all that we will eventually find Sean uh, in relation to this matter. But as I say, it's much better for Sean to come forward. Should the public be concerned about their own safety while he's at large? Look, clearly he, he has allegedly stabbed somebody last night um, and a warrant's been issued for his murder. Um, people who stab people are dangerous. That's, that's the fact of the matter. So whilst he remains at large, he is dangerous. Um, however, 
um, that risk can be reduced by him contacting the police and coming in and surrendering in a controlled way. And have you had much information in regards to what led up to the, the incident and, and why he was stabbed? Um, we believe there was an altercation earlier in the night um, at the shopping centre or in the precinct of the shopping centre and that later the two came together. Now, whether that was a chance encounter or a deliberate coming together um, isn't clear, but we've got a lot of investigation to do um, before we can be certain of anything. How crucial um, have witness accounts been and CCTV vision been? Um, the security vision is good from that shopping centre, um, and, and there's been a number of witnesses who have been able to assist us, and I've got no doubt more people will come forward. Have you heard from the victim's family at all? Um, obviously, our people would be in contact with the victim's family um, from the time of the incident throughout the day. All right. Okay. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.